Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable all the hidden features that are present in the build 25276, the latest build from the dev channel of the Windows Insider program. In this video, I'm going to mention at least five hidden features that you can enable in this build. So make sure to follow along this video if you want to see how to enable all these new hidden features in Windows 11 build 25276. Before continuing with the video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Vive tool and then I'm going to show you each feature one by one how you can enable it. For that, you're going to have to go ahead and download Vive tool from the download link in the article below in the video's description. Just download the latest version .zip and then you can simply open it up with the default extracting tool from Windows 11, which is File Explorer. Click on Extract All, click on Browse and make sure to extract this into the System32 location in this PC, local disk C, Windows, and then scroll down to System32. Select System32, click on Select Folder, and then click on Extract to finish the setup of Vive tool. Of course, click on Continue a few times for the setup to be complete. Now, let's talk about the first hidden feature that you could enable in this build, which is the new Firewall Dialog notification. Well, I've showed you that in a previous video, and I've told you that it is by default enabled. Well, in the latest build from the dev channel, Microsoft disabled it because there were some bugs that Microsoft needs to address. So if you still want to use that and enable it manually, you can do that by, of course, running the following command in CMD that I'm going to show you. Go ahead and open up the CMD by searching CMD in the search box. Click on run as administrator to have administrative privileges. And then on user account control, click on yes. A big shout out to Phantom Ocean 3 on Twitter for discovering this ID. Make sure to follow him there because he does a great job by fighting these hidden IDs. To enable the new firewall design, just type in here Vive tool slash enable slash ID two points and this ID. Of course, this command will be in the article below in the video's description, and you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration. After you run this command, it is recommended that you restart your computer for the changes to take effect. And after the restart, you will be able to notice whenever it is required, of course, the new firewall dialog. Of course, you're going to see some images with it in a video that I've done to simulate how it would look. The next feature that we're going to talk about is the new live kernel dumps. This is a feature that is not automatically enabled for everyone. This is a feature from the task manager if you don't know anything about it and it's a cool feature for developers. If you want to enable it, of course, open up the CMD as administrator yet again. And here you're going to have to run two commands, Vive tool slash enable slash ID 2.4043 Shout out to Rafael Rivera for discovering this ID a while back in August in the build 25188. And just to be safe, we're going to run this command as well, Vive tool slash enable slash ID 2.3492 843. Shout out to Phantom Ocean 3 for this command. And basically, if you run these two commands, you can exit out of the CMD and restart your computer for the changes to take effect. And for the restart, if you right click on this taskbar and then click on Task Manager, you're going to notice that in the Details tab, if you right click on a process, you'll have this new option Create Memory Dump File, which will create a new memory dump and it will automatically save it in this location. And also, if you go into Settings in the Task Manager, you'll be able to notice Live Kernel Memory Dump Options Advanced. We've memory dump settings to default, abort insufficient memory, capture hypervisor pages, include non-essential pages, and also capture user pages. These are, as I've said, settings and tools that are useful for developers. Also in this build, we have some updated storage settings for OneDrive. I've shown you in a previous video how to enable that, but in this build, we have an additional ID for the new cloud storage visuals. And to enable it, just open up CMD as administrator yet again and run this command. Again, you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration. This command and all the commands that I'm showing you in this video will be in the article below. I'm saying that again so you don't forget. And after that, you can just exit out of the CMD and restart your computer again. After the restart, if you go into the settings app and then into the account section, you'll be able to notice, of course, the storage settings. But with this new ID that I've showed you in this video, it will enable an updated variant of OneDrive quota alerts on settings and system, which of course can appear sometimes if you have a specific alert. Shout out to Phantom Ocean 3 for discovering this feature as well. Also, I have another feature that is not really a feature, but Microsoft is planning to remove the Microsoft Support Diagnostic tool responsible for legacy troubleshooters in Windows 11. And for that, there's a new banner being tested that will eventually show on these old troubleshooters and it will point to a link with more details. Open up the CMD as administrator, of course, to run a command that will enable that new banner. And this is the command. Shout out to Rafael Rivera on Twitter for the ID and feature, and also to Xeno, Xeno Panther on Twitter for spot 
cutting the string. Now, if you open up the Microsoft Support Diagnostic Tool, this new banner will appear. Microsoft Support Diagnostic Tool MSDT will be retired by 2025. If you're asking, well, this is retiring, what will be the replacement? Well, a possible replacement can be the new Get Help troubleshooting experience. That is, of course, tied to the new changes that Microsoft is doing to the network troubleshooting. If you check out the notes for this latest build, Microsoft is basically moving the network troubleshooter to the new Get Help app. So, so that is a sign that Microsoft will replace this Microsoft Support Diagnostic Tool with the Get Help app. And of course, as a bonus, I'm just going to mention the new details pane in the File Explorer that you can enable using a video that I've done a few days ago. You can check out that video. As for additional information, you can enable that on your main computer or on a VM, not necessarily on Windows Sandbox, but just make sure to not use it on the dark mode. Just use it on the light mode because on the light mode, File Explorer won't crash. That video will be linked below in the video description. So basically, this is it for this build 25276. These are all the hidden features. Shout out to all the guys that contributed to this video, Phantom Ocean 3, Rafael Rivera, and also Xeno Panther. Thanks to them for providing information that helped create this video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.